I was a kid, we'd rent Indiana Jones movies on, on VHS tapes. That's dating myself. Um, and it, it just inspired a whole generation of, of, of scholars because we saw the excitement and the passion and the drama. Um, and, and what's amazing to me about archaeology, it's actually much more dramatic and much more interesting. And the stories are even better than what you see on a Hollywood movie. Exploring and getting her hands dirty is what gets Dr. Sarah Parkek up in the morning. A real-life Indiana Jones, she's passionate about the ancient world. But her route to old world secrets uses decidedly modern technology. When people initially think of the term space archaeologist, they think, oh, it's someone who uses satellites to look for alien settlements on, on Mars or in outer space. But, but the opposite is true. We're actually looking for evidence of past human life on planet Earth. Space archaeologists are changing the face of their field. Using high-resolution satellite imagery, they're able to map changes and patterns on the Earth's surface. Infrared and thermal photographs give scientists clues about where to look and what to look for. We're finding out much more information about who we are and, and where we came from. And all of these secrets are in the ground, waiting for us to find them. The answers are there. Much like the Hollywood character who inspired her, it was Sarah's love of tombs and temples which led her to Egypt. My heart is, has always been in Egypt. I'm an Egyptologist. I've been working there um, now for 15 years. So, you know, t t for me, I think, there, you know, even though I've been able to map a lot of Egypt, been able to, to, to try to find things, I think with some of these new satellites coming out, we're actually going to be able to find a lot more. She and her team say they've been able to map all of ancient Egypt. Among their discoveries are 17 lost pyramids and a thousand tombs. While space technology races forward, earthly problems are holding them back. Uprisings across the Middle East are threatening local sites. We found that that patterns of site looting have increased between 500 and a thousand percent since the start of the Arab Spring. For now, this female explorer may have to wait for the dust to settle. Becky Anderson, CNN, Abu Dhabi.